Good morning. How y'all feeling? Love you, Arthur. Good morning, mommy. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How y'all feeling? Justin, how you feeling this morning? Hope you're feeling much better today than you were yesterday. Good morning, Darren. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Mama. Hey, Justin. Justin, you 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 said just a little of the same. Listen, we still praying. Hey, Darren. Arthur. Hi, Arthur. We love you. <laughs> Arthur's so sweet. Yes. And then he leaves. <laughs> what is girl? She's... Hey, Keisha. Good morning, Keisha. How you doing, love? How y'all feeling today? Happy Thursday. Okay. Um, child, listen. I feel like we've been talking about all the things, but uh, I'm a little curious about this whole, uh, me and Sam have talked about this before personally, but about people who try to act like they're really positive, but they really ain't positive. Oh. Um, and then... Mm -hmm. You know, also the the flip side of that, the top of the morning, ladies, may I ask you a question? Sure, love, doctor. How you doing today? It's your well, be careful, morning. love, doctor. Whatever you ask, be careful. Be careful. <laughs> welcome in, welcome in. Thank you so much for coming in. Um, I'm curious, also the flip side of that, does pe do people who are overly positive does that bother you? Um, and I saw yeah. somebody try are, is trying to coin the phrase of toxic positivity. You know what I'm saying? I know that's an oxymoron. It's and not. It's an oxymoron, but hey, Lindsay, um, toxic positivity, but it's just the same thing. Um, you over praying for me and my and family. Oh, we're praying for you guys, Arthur. May God be with you and keep you all in Jesus' name. Hey, um, good morning. Good morning, Theo. How you doing, love? Um, so yeah, let's talk about those the fake positive people, right? Or um I, me personally, child, I can't deal with a person being overly the glasses half empty all the time like it's draining for me i can't do it <laughs> theo yes I, I i don't like that but also i if i call you this is my issue about these overly positive people if okay. i call you as my friend and i'm venting mm -hmm. about something Mm -hmm. I don't always want to look on the bright side of it. I want you to fucking <laughs> be there with me in my anger. I want you to be like, I understand. I don't need you to get angry with me, but I, I need just for you to understand the moment that I'm in. I don't want you to be like, well, look at it this way. I don't want to fucking hear that shit. Okay? 
I had a friend that used to do that shit. And I used to be like, I always used to be like, are you my friend or their friend? Like, I'm I'm upset and I'm trying to share with you. And you're like, well, maybe look at it from their point of view. I don't want to fucking look at it from their point of view. And if you're my friend, look at it from my point of view, God damn it. And now we're not friends. So there's that. Good morning, child. Good was, morning, Scope. Because it wasn't hey, y'all, I, I lost it for a second. Sorry. So what you talking about? You gonna be I, there for me? I feel like I could be their friend often. Um, yeah, not because of you out too. Yeah, you're <laughs> trying to child. I'm like, girl, get over it. Listen, <laughs> someone has to be the voice of reason. Exactly. Not mommy. all the time, though, Mama. Listen, exactly. not all the time. Sometimes <laughs> you just want somebody to hear you. I, I do not I do not always want to be told to look on the bright side of something. If I am mm -hmm. in a bad space and I'm just simply venting and trying to share with my friend, I don't need in that moment, well, look at it from their point of view. I don't fucking give a fuck about their point of view. I'm mad. You my I friend. I have to agree with you to be your friend. Chop said yes, you, you want a mess man. Agree. I, I'm not asking for agreements, mama. I'm just asking for you not to jump on. Well, maybe they didn't it's mean amazing. it like that. I don't give a shit how they meant it. I'm telling you, you you were supposed to be my friend. I'm telling you how it made me feel. And sometimes I just need you to say, I understand. Mm -hmm. I, I Not that you agree, just that I understand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I understand that. I think um, me and my best friend have that a lot um, because she's going through this period of her life that um you know trying to figure out a lot of different relationships and stuff like that they've revealed themselves to her in a certain way and she's very um oh thank you teddy <laughs> she's very um she feels very negative about the things like very upset and stuff like and i get it and i sit there and i listen and i let her vent and i let her have her whole moment and everything and then i'll be like Okay, as you finish, as you done, you had your moment. Let's move forward. Let's not stay in that place because when you do that, it so easily can turn into bitterness. It can turn into a lot of different things. And I don't ever want somebody that I love and care about to dwell in that space. Like we can have a moment. We can stand in that moment for a minute. Like, yeah, F this, F that, da, 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 da. and then we can reel it back in. Okay. Cause I, if you stay there, you're always going to be there. Or it's, it's, a, it's a possibility that you can constantly do that all the time. And I don't want to be dealing with that all the time either. That's draining. Uh, I get, I do get, get all the points of view, but I'm just saying that right. you don't always want to hear right. in a moment when you're venting to your friends, sometimes you just want to vent. Right. I don't, I'm not always looking for your positive spin mm -hmm. on my Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not always looking for that in this moment i'm i'm pissed off right and that's what chop said that's why when people want to vent i ask if you want an ear or advice and yeah for sure for sure i agree with that today's topic good morning welcome in how y'all doing this is the after party podcast where your host is tam and portia and around here we like to say tap that because our initials are tap so tap 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 it up tap up the screen if this is your first time here say hello we won't bite thank you so much for joining our light like goal <laughs> our light goal is 30k a day so help us get to that goal share out this live gift us up do all the things today is topic thursday and the topic is about thank you so much lindsay the thank topic lindsay. is about positivity the the both flip sides of it right the the side of if a person hi mari how you doing welcome um the one side of it can do you how do you deal with people that are constantly dwelling in a negative space um or the other side of it is toxic positivity dealing with a person that's overly positive all the time like what what do you what do you prefer what do you think about it all that type of stuff 
I was saying that I don't really care to deal with a person that's always um, looking at the glass half empty. It's your journey. That's a lot of work for me because I try to focus on the better parts of things, right? Um, so are we about somebody that, like, let's say if your friend doesn't know how to self-regulate. Thank you, mom. It, it, are we talking about friends that don't know how to self-regulate? Like they're not going to ever come back around to the positive? Are, are we talking about people that just sit in negative spaces? Or are we talking about like realistically, you can have a negative moment or moments, but that... Oh, oh. Thank you, child. That was for you. Um, because I feel like I'm a person that can self-regulate, right? Mm -hmm. I, I will be like up here mm -hmm. for like five damn minutes, just on a whole rant, cussing, mm -hmm. screaming. And then I'd be like, but I digress. And then I, 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 I'm, I'm, I check myself. So I don't always want to hear when I'm in that heightened space. Mm -hmm. Well, but Tim, what about this? I don't give a fuck about that right now but in a minute i will but give me a minute <laughs> i mean i wouldn't want to be some with around someone who's always negative either so i get that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but i'm saying are we discerning the difference like is this someone who's always negative or is this someone that is going to eventually find the positive I think that is the the great area. Good morning, Jamar. Absolutely. Um, because first of all, like you said, realistically, we're all human. We all ain't gonna be, yeah, everything's great and it's okay. And then you're gonna have your moment. Like you're gonna go in, and I should have friends that I can vent to, go off all the things, go down that path, show like that side of me of flipping out and and high in my emotion but also um like you said the self-regulation like who i just need to get that off my chest not for to stay there i'm just letting y'all know um i do that often too like i because before i used to thank you so much chop um yeah. good morning nikki i mean biscuits good morning blossom before morning, i used to blossom before I used to um, just let my high emotions be expressed to whomever in whatever situation I was in. So, um, i.e. my um, husband, right? My ex-husband. If I was high in my emotions, if I got upset about something, I'm going off to his face right then and there. Boom, 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 boom. Like, instead of breathing for a moment or whatever or coming back and even even having that moment of just having a high emotion but it's the consistency of the things right like at some point you have to learn how to not get high so high in your emotions that that's always your consistent like oh we know they're gonna go off so here they go you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying like but now i know how to like reel it in and be like okay or i'll ask for space for me to just let it out let me let it out right here this is what I need to do in this moment in order to make myself feel better. And if that person is willing to allow you that space, then cool. And if they're not, then you have to honor that too. Like, but I guess you just got to figure out who you talking to, who you dealing with and whatever. So. Thank um, y'all so much. Yes. Teddy said uh, those people are emotionally unbalanced that don't deal with their emotions in the now. Right. Um, good morning, Midas. Got premium strokes. Period. Welcome, um, welcome, welcome. The Jarvis, as long as the good outweigh the bad, but life could change in an instant, so we should seek comfort. I like that. I like I that. Come on, y'all. open. Uh, yeah, I was getting ready to say that. Um, <laughs> but to you know, to Mama's earlier point, like. I'm I'm not asking for agreeable friends. I don't want friends that agree with everything I say. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that as my friend, um, if you know me, you know my heart, you know how I move and how I deal with situations and issues, then if I'm like 
flipping out about something that I'm I'm upset about, emotional about, or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, you sh you should know that in this moment, it's not going to be good for us if you say, "Oh well, shoot, I'm sorry." I'm sorry. I'm go or maybe sorry. they didn't mean it like that. Like that's not going to be good for our friendship. Maybe you just want to say, "I understand your point," and leave it at that. That's not saying that you agree with me. It's just saying you understanding that I'm I'm in this moment and I'm I'm in this space right now. We can move on from there. That's that's what I'm and and also it's very important for us to tell our friends what we need from them and our partners, right? So I'm saying as your friend, as my friend, I don't need that and that is not going to be good for us. I am going to self-regulate. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring it down probably in a little while but i'm going yeah. to be like i was tripping sorry just to say but look on the bright side lol the driver said hey, emotional hey, intelligence <laughs> absolutely hey teddy what you got hey, for us teddy. good morning sky good morning hey, sky. what's up teddy what you think what you got to say about this so regulators now know this one uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's a, a healthy balance in both. Uh, what comes to mind is like passiveness, aggression, and uh, assertiveness, and passive aggressive. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, people who are passive aggressive show you different than what they're actually feeling. Right? They're li mm -hmm. they're lying emotionally. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Uh, that person is that person who is that overly negative person or that overly positive person. Mm -hmm, they really mm -hmm. feel some type of way, but they're showing you what they want to, they want to be seen as. Uh, and those, those people are not people you can trust. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. So the person that gets upset, cuss and get up, I never have a problem with them because I know where they stand, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. I know where they at, uh, and then you know they calm down, or, or they don't. If the situation gets to where they don't calm down, uh, like I have friends, because I'm not one to get loud. I get real quiet when I get upset. You mm -hmm. feel my silence. So, mm -hmm. uh, well, my friends they get loud, it's like in restaurants they get upset or something, something wrong. Uh, we went to Memphis one time, uh, ate at a Shoney's. Racist. <laughs> the whole people was racist. Um, mm -hmm. so they get mad, they get loud. We go outside, they, you know, I have to let them have their moment for them to, uh, feel accomplished because when you try to silence somebody in their emotional state, they don't feel like they got it out. And now <laughs> they, now they have resentment towards you. I'm trying to put a, uh, cover on your fire. Let it burn. <laughs> yeah. Let it yeah. burn. Yeah. I mean, because the candle ain't going to be lit for always. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, Ethan. Right. <laughs> hey, Ethan. I, I... That, yeah, that's what I think that's kind of what I was saying in a more, much more passionate way. So, you know, we always like when Teddy comes in here with his calmness mm -hmm. and can it can um, make everybody understand the point in a, yeah. in a clear and concise way. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that's kind of what I'm saying. It's like, give me my moment. Um and also i feel like those overly positive people this um well well maybe they didn't mean it like that look at it from their point of view they just don't want to be uncomfortable so they want you to quickly get out of this space because they're uncomfortable you know they that is not them necessarily caring about you it's about how you are making them feel in the moment i don't totally agree with that um i think there are some people in that instance but also there are some people again back to emotional intelligence and also that aren't um that can view things from a standpoint because when you're not in it you can see all the sides right i feel like if you're will if you're that type of person and like and particularly i'm that type of person i don't try i used to be very tunnel vision this is what it is whatever 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 good morning absolute but now, um, because I understand that we're all in different spaces in our life, 
and where I may be at today, you may not be at today. And that's okay. I'm willing to grow with you and learn with you and maneuver with you. But also because I have this um, other perspective or um, a higher um, understanding of, again, it goes back. Uh, remember that book that Juma told us, uh, uh, I mean, Elroy told us about Tam, the four agreements. And one of the agreements mm -hmm. is not taking, um, don't take things personally. That stuck with me so hard because for real, when you take yourself out of the equation, it ain't about you. It could be that person woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. That person uh, went through something last night. That person just got cut off in traffic and that pissed them off or whatever. It could be so many little triggers and then you get the brunt of it. And then you take it personally like they trying to do this to me and they trying and it ain't even about you. So you can't take everything. Per and I just guess I'd rather look at it from that mindset and that scope of oh, this could have happened to anybody. I just got it right now, but it wasn't about me. And so I can't take this personally, what they're doing right now, because this is the space. Oh, they just lost they, they dog. So this is, they all over the place right now. So I'm giving them grace in that area because I know what they're experiencing and everybody don't deal with life the same way. Everything triggers people differently. So I can't, no longer dwell in that space of well you cuss me out so i'm mad and i'm gonna be mad and i don't care like i can't I, i'm giving you grace because i know right now you may be experiencing something right now you don't see what you're doing you don't see how you're acting but i do and because i see you i'm gonna back off i'm gonna give you grace and i'm not gonna take it personally and i'm gonna keep it pushing and it's it's just that simple for me but that's how i choose to make my mindset because if i get caught up on how, what somebody's presenting me in the moment i'm gonna always falter to that always and i'd rather not do that yeah i understand yeah i agree and understand that um but also just because so to teddy's point earlier that when he's upset he gets silent i don't I don't always get silent when I'm upset, mm -hmm. but when I am trying to preserve the friendship, I get silent. And sometimes my silence goes to complete shutdown because really what I want to do in this moment is go off. And because mm -hmm. I am growing and trying to change and evolve and become a big girl, um, I I don't always respond exactly how I feel in the moment because sometimes, you, no, you can never take it back. So sometimes I just fall silent and have been known to like take my, my silence like to the umpteenth power of like completely <laughs> shut down, which is mm -hmm. not, which is not good. That, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not saying that's a good way to be, but I'm saying that um, it, my silence is because if I go silent on you, it's, it's most likely because I'm trying to preserve this friendship and anything I say right now, we not, we, we not going to be able to come back from, mm -hmm. give me a minute. Mm -hmm. I'll be back when i'm when i can get myself together when i can self-regulate really? i'll be back and we can have a conversation but we don't want to have a conversation right now today because it ain't gonna be good right and that go on teddy go on teddy i'm sorry go well, I mean, what y'all said you two things that come to mind when y'all talked about what y'all talked about tit for tat right mm -hmm. so the problem with tit for tat uh in relationships with people that Um, not like because I do tit for tat at work, but <laughs> with, oh. in relationships with people that you love is that they didn't mean it. The tit they didn't mean to hurt you, mm -hmm. right? The, the initial tit. So when I do the tat, I'm trying to hurt you. So there's a difference when because you know people are going to hurt us on accident. It's it's a, it's the way the world works. Absolutely. <laughs> so when I try to when I do the tat, I'm literally trying to make you feel like I feel which is hurting you, mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. is bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. it, it, it's intentional, which is different than, you know, accidental hurt. So that's what we got to communicate. And then this, the first thing is talking about knowing our friends or the significant person that we're with uh, mm -hmm. emotionally. Mm -hmm. 
Um, because some people I can't let blow all the way up, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I got friends I can't just let blow all the way up because there's no coming back for them. Mm -hmm. But I got friends I know they're gonna blow up and they're gonna self regulate. Yeah. Uh, you gotta know who is who. Uh, like I know I don't drink and smoke, but my homeboys they drunk. So when when they get drunk and they with me, if I say something, they know. Okay, that's what we finna do. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> if that's not something that we can accomplish with each other, then we won't go out while you're intoxicated. Uh oh. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, so we have to make sure that we get that level of who I'm dealing with and then what I'm dealing with. Like, uh, I got friends that yeah. will blow all the way up, blow a car up, shoot, bam, bam, bam. Yeah. And I got to say, hey, you need to calm down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it wasn't even all that. It wasn't. Yes. So. Um, real quick, real quick. Let me say welcome to all the newcomers. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for sticking around for this conversation. Ed McCall, good morning. Um, it was one other person I saw. I'm so sorry. It's a lot of comments. Kevon, Giovanni, good morning. Thank you so much for joining. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I, I, and that's what I'm saying, knowing where somebody is in their emotional intelligence. Therefore, if I know that, that you're going to go up here, I have to kind of like, okay, I know that's where they're going to be. But also, if I know you're going to continue, keep going, 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 I got to ring you in like, hey, 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 that's enough. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or vice versa. Sometimes I may need that. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I've grown to a point in my emotional intelligence that, like Tam said, if you got to take a moment. And I know because I used to shut down. I used to hold it all in until I'm constantly sweeping stuff under the rug until I blow up. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to hurt your feelings. Don't do but that. You, but right, you constantly <laughs> doing stuff to me and I'm constantly sweeping that road like, it's okay, Portia, it's okay. Don't pay attention. It's, so, it's fine, it's fine. I'm telling myself that and then I blow up and then you like, where's all this coming from? I've been feeling like this. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. And so I've learned how to stop doing that and like Blossom, I believe, said that I may take a moment still to myself now and then I'll come back to you later and be like, okay, now, like you said, Tam, I've thought, I've thought about it. I've processed how I feel. And so now I can come back and tell you, but I'm going to come back. If I don't say nothing initially, I'm going to come back because I have to put it all out there on the table because I, I'm trying to live in a certain way that I don't want to fake the funk with you. If I call you my friend, my, my, my significant other, whatever, I don't want to fake it with you. It's, it takes so much energy to fake. So it's like, I don't want to be that person. I have to bring it back to you, but let me regulate myself. Let me calm down. Let me process. Am I really tripping or whatever? Well, no, I think this really made me feel this way. So I need to explain this or why I felt this way about this thing or whatever. But um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to ever be in. I, so I'm not going to ever fake. It's nothing. I can't, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. um, and I am someone who, sometimes a lot of times hate to hear um anything negative about myself but also mm -hmm. i don't like to hear it but i also will listen if that makes sense i will i will hear it i don't want to hear it because i would like to think that i'm wonderful and i'm perfect <laughs> but i know it's not true yeah and so Sometimes it's hard to hear how your friends um, see you in certain moments. It's hard to take it in, um, but I will take it in. I will listen. I will admit my wrongdoings. I will apologize. Like I, I will, um, but I'm expecting the same thing from my friends. And mm -hmm, if mm -hmm. I'm in a friendship that is not reciprocal, I don't want to be in it. I will exit stage left because um, we too grown for that. I should be if I if you could tell me what you think and how you feel about me, and I can't do the same. We cannot be friends. I do not want to mm -hmm. be in any type of partnership where I can't speak my truth as well. Only you get to talk. I I, I can no longer do that in my life, right? So that's out of the question. I, I did see in the comments that they they are saying like they want to talk about it now. Yeah, that's Kevion, I was just saying that. 
that's selfish. That's very selfish. If the person um, cannot and does not want to articulate what they are dealing with at that time, mm -hmm. you have to respect the fact that they need a moment. They are going to get back to you. But saying, no, we need to, di we need to discuss this right now mm -hmm. is only probably most of the time going to make the situation way way worse yeah let them walk away calm down think about it because sometimes when you sometimes the things you're so so angry about when you take a moment and really self-reflect sometimes they ain't even that deep you realize you know, i don't even really need to address this like i'm tripping yeah yeah and sometimes people will talk themselves through it, you know, when you, but you, you have to allow that space. Um, because uh, like Sam said, I may sit there and say something that I really didn't feel. And I, I've come, Ooh, that's, that's crazy. Cause I've been having that issue a lot lately. Like even with me and my mom and I'll use her as an example, uh, cause she's here and you know, we transparent about our relationship anyway. Um, um, she will say something and I'll say something back to her because I was triggered. And instead of me acknowledging that I was triggered, I'll say something back to her. And then like Teddy said, it would end up hurting her. Right. And then she'll be like, well, why did you say that? That didn't make no sense. Cause now that's, this is later after we both kind of like whatever. And I, we come back to talk and then she like, why would you say that? And I was like, well, that's not what I meant when I was saying that, but she's already taken it in a negative way. And that's not necessarily what I was trying to convey to her. Right. I was trying to say this specific thing, but it came off like this specific thing. And so that's why you got to give people space sometimes to go process what they really feel and what they really think, because sometimes they'll say things to you that they really didn't mean to say, and it would, it would create a whole nother mess. Um, mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, I mean, like you said, Tim, nobody likes to hear the truth about themselves or, uh, or well, if any, the truth is not good, <laughs> right, right, right. any, any criticism, any neg nobody likes to hear that, but, that's also a part of life. We need people um, because they, if you really do have a solid circle or good people around you, they're going to mirror back to you what's going on, right? Um, and, and that's a good thing, but also they should do it in love and respect and all of those things. And if we, if we should be able to reciprocate the, just as we want to be reciprocated, the good things, we have to be able to reciprocate those not so um, easy things, right? So it's just, it just depends on the people. Kevion said, we don't think before we talk and when we mad words will come out that shouldn't come out. Exactly. We don't think because you be in your emotions and think about how you feeling. It'd be a very selfish response, but it's not intentional. And even if you didn't mean it for it to be intentional, it's like, I just need you to understand my point of view, but you ain't even conveying it as best as you can because you ain't processed it fully through you know what i'm saying which is why i said if i'm having an issue with sky sorry boo gotta use you if i'm having an issue with sky <laughs> and i come to you portia and say yeah. god pissed me off and, da -da -da -da, and i'm ranting and you say well maybe she didn't mean it like that and you should look at it on the bright side i'm gonna be more pissed like i i'm going i'm i'm talking to you about it or I'm venting to you because it's not yet time for me to have the conversation with Sky because I'm still angry. I'm just mm -hmm. blowing off steam. And the only reason why I'm coming to you is because we're all three friends. So mm -hmm. I'm coming to you blowing off steam. I'm not asking you to take my side. I'm not asking you to take her side. Mm -hmm. I'm just venting. Mm -hmm. And once I get it all out and process what I'm thinking, I'm going to go back to Sky, who is the person that I ha really have the issue with mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. work it out anyway, mm -hmm. because that's love. I'm not going, I'm not willing to lose the friendship because I'm mad in this moment. So I am going to come back to her once I calm down, but yeah. right now I'm venting. So I don't want to hear what well, she did. You, she probably ain't mean it like that. And you, <laughs> you shouldn't take it like that and blah, blah, blah. Like, God damn it. I'm, I just need you to listen for a minute.
Okay. So, so now I know that, listen, and me and Tam Tam have been in this situation before. And now I know that about you. So I just won't say nothing, but listen, because obviously you're not in the space yet to hear, even if I did have that positive out view to offer, you're not there yet. And that's fine. I respect that space. And now I know I just need to listen, period. Mom said that's not what I said earlier. Well, that's what I meant. I, I was yeah. trying to convey this point. I was, I was yeah. trying to convey this point. It didn't, it came out with, I don't want to hear that shit, but I, that's what I was really meaning was what I just said. Well, so <laughs> emotions are sometimes irrational. Whew. Say that again for the people in the back. Absolutely. But emotions are sometimes irrational. So I like what Portia said about she sits down and she asks herself questions because I, I read that in the book and that's why I started asking myself. So uh, I think it was called the anger, angry, I don't know. It was about, it was anger management thing or something. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was telling, it's like, why am I upset? Mm -hmm. That, asking yourself that takes you mm -hmm. out of the mm -hmm. situation and look at it. And it's usually not what happened. It's usually something else. I mean, it can yeah. be what happened. <laughs> yeah, it can usually be. Usually it's something else that's mm -hmm. that's pushing on that to make you to get there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, emotions have no intelligence. So, and then it's another book I read. It's called The Seven, Ho Seven Highly Effective, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Stephen mm. Covey. Mm -hmm. One of the, one of the highly effect, one of the habits is seek first to understand before being understood. Yes. That kind because I was I used to argue. I used to uh pour myself on people like when they I would thera thera what they call therapize? Therapize, yes. <laughs> therapize people. Um uh -huh. so seek first to understand before being understood. I have to see what this person wants because not all the time is their words telling me what they want because they are an emotional wreck. <laughs> yes. So I have to see what they actually are trying to get they probably just need like you said the steam because when you let the vent out and i let it out if you let the vent out to portia like you were saying when you go to talk to sky you don't have all of that pent-up pressure that's mm -hmm. gonna blow up in sky's face mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. you know that that is a needed uh outing it has yeah. to be let out so yeah absolutely yeah. but so um, i'm sorry so to you Oh, no, I was go just going to say real quick to that point, I think um, where I get caught up as a person in um, those type of situations as a friend, when my friend is telling me how they feel or whatever, whatever, um, I, where I get caught up in is me trying to offer a different perspective and thinking, even though you're high in your emotions right now, maybe later on when you're processing this whole thing, you're going to something that I said may pierce you and may spark something in you like, well, maybe that was true. Like you said, sitting there asking yourself the questions, right? If you sit there, ask yourself the questions and then maybe you may think about something that I said, but I feel like if I offer nothing, then what did I really do in this space? Then just sit there and let you go off. You know what I'm oh, saying? Like some, and most times this is what happened. But also most times this is what happened, Sam. You will talk back to if you don't say nothing, you'll talk back to that person. They're like, yeah, I sat there and thought about it. And then I talked to such and such about it. And they told me, and this is what made me feel this way. And I was like, okay, that makes sense. And I'm like, well, if I should have probably said something then because you you mm -hmm. eventually still talk to somebody else and they offer something to you that helped you process it through. So I feel like if I don't do that as your friend, then I may not be being a good friend right i should have something to offer you other yeah. than just my ear does that make sense am i do you understand what i I'm hear saying? no i hear what you're saying good morning good fella um morning, I, I get i get morning, your everybody. point and i understand um completely why you feel that way mm -hmm. um but what you could be offering in that moment when you're not speaking is just holding space for me it's a safe space where I know that I could come to you and vent. Yes. I I don't necessarily need you to offer me another perspective because 
I'm going to figure it out. Sometimes I'm talking myself through it. You just mm -hmm. holding the phone. I'm just I'm just going around in circles. And eventually I'm gonna be like, but if you're saying it in that moment, all it's doing is 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 adding fuel to the fire for, for me. For mm -hmm. me. I can't speak for everybody else. But for me, it's gonna take me just that much longer to get over the damn thing because you you loud, you know, dousing that flame. Cause now yeah. I'm I'm infuriated now because I'm like, I, what the? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. even 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 for you, you might not be taking their side. But in my anger, that's all I'm hearing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get or that. Two. Yeah. So, because I know exactly how you feel. I want to say exactly how you feel. I can mm -hmm. relate to what you said, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for me. When people come to me, because you said, I want to make sure I have something to offer, have it to offer, right? Mm -hmm. Offer it. And if they say yes, then give it to them. If they say no, then leave it be. So, because yeah. I am that friend that gives advice, right? Mm -hmm. and I'm ready for you. But so my friend that comes in, so, you know, somebody said in the comments, is this a vent session or is this, are you wanting to work through this? So even if they say it's a vent session, and they get through vent. I said, "So, do you want to hear what I gotta say, or are you cool? Yeah. <laughs> like, or do you do you do you do you want me to step in on this, or are you you all right? Mm -hmm. So, I, mm -hmm. it's an offer. When you said offer, that's what made me think of it. Yeah, I'm yeah. offering I, it to I you. I love that. Mm -hmm. So, if it, it's something for you to take, it's like salvation. Yeah. No. <laughs> Hello, come on, it's your choice. Absolutely. I can walk into the water. I can't make you drink it. Uh, I love that, Teddy, because I feel like if I'm like going off, which, you know, occasionally I do do, even here, um, but if I'm going <laughs> off <laughs> and I'm flipping out and then once I'm once I'm done, if you say uh, you want to hear what I got to say or you good, um, mm -hmm. I, most of the time I'm going to say, OK, what you got? Mm -hmm. Most of the time, but mm -hmm. if in the middle of my rant you like, well, she probably didn't mean it like that, and you know she really one more. All I'm hearing is you taking her side, mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. if that's not even what you're saying. Mm -hmm. If if that makes sense. Hi, yeah. Sky. Sorry, I used you as an example, boo boo. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I feel special, good, bad, and indifferent. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> good morning, panel. Good morning, chat. Um, morning. I will say this. Me personally, I'm not giving energy to people that don't matter to me, right? So the people that do matter to me, I'm hoping that I know them. And mm -hmm. I think that's the important thing. You need to know the person that you're dealing with, whether it be mm -hmm. relationship-wise or friendship-wise, because mm -hmm. then you're able to know how to approach them right mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. um and then you can see where they are in life because some people may be impulsive right and they want answers right away they need it right away but some people may need to process but if you meet those people where they are um it goes for a better result my mm -hmm. question is what happens when you both are at your level at the mm -hmm. 10 and one person needs to process and one person needs to get it out right away what do you do in those situations <laughs> the, the silence is loud as a mug. So, is the question if two people are venters and they're and they're the ones having the disagreement? Correct, no, but they're not venters on the same level, though. So, someone is a so we're having a disagreement. They're talking to each other. One person is a processing person, so they need a moment to step away. But the other person is an impulsive person. They need to get it out right now, right this moment. What do we do in those circumstances, those situations? Let the impulsive person be impulsive and the mm -hmm. person that needs to step away. Or you don't have to respond. That's what I think. I don't have to respond. You want to vent and, and, and the roles will probably be reversed. If we talk to me and Sky, I will probably be the, the, the impulsive venting one and she would probably be the one the one that need a minute so um but if if that's the case then and we're friends if we're truly friends um i would be able to sit in that moment let you scream and holler i i had a similar situation just happened to me recently it wasn't exactly that because it was via text but um they was um 
text after text after text, like just kept going. And I fell silent because I was like, anything I say in this moment is going in the friendship. I'm not going to say anything. I'm a, and I did know that they, you know, was in a bad space. And so I just took it. Um, they came back once they, you know, got it together. They came back a few days later and we had a conversation. But um, in that moment, I knew if I, anything I said, I was going to cut to the white meat. Like I was, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I knew that was going to be my response. So I just let them do what they needed to do. I said very little and I still remained very even keeled in all of my responses. I never went into attack mode because I was interested in preserving the friendship in that moment. So I think like to your point, if you know your friends and you know what they need from you and they know you and know what you need from them, then you you act accordingly. I'm going to let you vent and go off and say all the things and then when you're done if i still need time i'm gonna say i'm i'm gonna call you back yeah 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 good morning prince good morning bp good morning everybody that came in so sorry if we missed you as you can see we're in deep conversation because today is topic thursday and um if this is your first time being here this is the after party podcast where your host is tam Tam and Portia <laughs> and around here because our initials is TAP we like to say tap that so tap 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 it up tap up this screen I'm your host today so tap all over here on this side okay so we can get to our 30k a day lightning goal or whatever also if y'all will spam the chat by putting hashtag FYP that will help us get exposure on TT as well so we can get more people more like-minded people to come on up in this chat and talk about it with us today okay we're talking about before, positive. okay before you move on the Jarvis I saw this comment that you made what do you see and I was going that you live but I decided not to oh I can be delusional do you know the um do you know the definition where he at? Where, where is what, what he you see? Pam Pam can get a little delusional when she venting. Has he seen you um, venting before? What's he happening? about to see me vent right now. He about to see it right now. Thank you, DP. Thank you, um, Sky. Thank you, Blossom. Um, Blossom said, oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, I Good morning, good morning. Um, good morning. Thank you, Clarence. Thank you so much, Clarence. Is this your first time here? Welcome. Welcome. Thank you so much. You've been here talking, talking, talking. I think Morgan is. Uh, this is Morgan's first time with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Nah, the Jarvis don't run now. Hey, Ethan Boo, you how done, you doing? You done man? awakened the beast. <laughs> don't you have awakened the beast? I can't. Look at Absolute Swanson, them, them pills. Absolute, you don't know her life. <laughs> <laughs> what pills? Talking about what the sleep oh, pills the, you the talking sleep about. pills I took the other night. <laughs> you don't know what took today or oh, last night, I mean. Oh, thank you. My heart feels happy to be here. Oh, Morgan, oh, we're grateful. Stick we're around. Grateful. Join the team. Um, to, uh, 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 come on back here, the Jarvis. Listen, the Jarvis. I'm not delusional, Bring that um, up back. <laughs> but I do, I can, I don't do, I can occasionally go from <laughs> zero to a hundred. He's taking flights and everything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can occasionally, um, go off, uh, but I'm human You're and human. sometimes yeah, y'all be really, Sometimes y'all be kind of pushing the, the envelope in, up in here sometimes. Y'all be y'all be going too far. And um, you know, we on here for kicks and giggles sometimes, but sometimes y'all be coming for our neck. And so um I don't want y'all to think let this smile fool you. Hmm. Don't play with me. Ask that lady at the gas station. What you what you say, Teddy? Ask that lady at the gas station. <laughs> oh, come on back in here though the drivers we love you i just wanted to you know sometimes we all need a little correction 
Mm-hmm. Justin, what up? What you up here for? I know you about to holler. Child. Tap the screen. I'm, I'm up here to uh, take off Sky's head for not saying good morning to me. Oh, oh, look at this guy. I can't stand her. What is wrong with her? Shut up side eye. You, 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 can, you, can, you can cut your eye all you want. I'm coming. Good morning, brother. How are you feeling today, brother? Oh, don't, don't, don't do it now. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Love you, brother. Now go My ahead. heart already broke. I'm like, I'm like, look at this. She's saying good morning to everybody else. Everybody. Even the new people. Not one word. Yes, Not, it's okay though. I, I love you, Scott. I do, but dang, that that that's kind of dirty. Now you did me dirty. Oh, Clarence, apologize, Clarence, I'm putting this. Ready? I'm putting this on a t-shirt, Clarence. That for Clarence real. Said, have good, have golly. That means pray with me. Don't play with me. Period. Hashi Tashi. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Scott, did you apologize? Yeah, sky is all in the and chat. Then, good, morning, good morning, brother. Oh, you put it in the chat. I, did. I thought she said, I'm so look sorry. at mommy trying to take up with hearts and everything. She's sorry. She didn't mean it, Justin. She didn't mean it. Okay, so uh on topic though, um I can't I can't stand aggressively positive people. Aggressively because you aggressively. know they so fake. They so fake. Like you cannot always be this happy. Like stop. Quit lying to yourself. And me. Oh, I like that. I, I think that's, that's, that seemed like a point to be made. Like that, but that's that's that goes to the point of being overly positive. Like everything is positive and everything you can see the bright side of everything. Like, come mm -hmm. on. Really? And sitting there crying inside. Uh-huh. Well, see, so Blossom, the the post I saw this guy talking about toxic positivity, he was trying to coin this phrase, and like he said, it's an oxymoron, all that type of stuff. But, uh, oh, good fella. <laughs> you want a Christmas party? Listen, um, mm, I don't we, know. I can do it. Okay, we, we, we'll talk we'll about see, it. Let's we'll think about see. it. Um, but I think what he was saying, the toxic, uh, toxic positivity, um, more so what he was speaking towards is just having faith and having a, a, a good mindset. Yes, you're going to feel things because, again, we're human. But I think it's like instead of being toxic um, in your negativity, flip it to the positivity, you know, because we automatically as human beings think the worst all the time like all the time, like it's in us. Um, but if you flip that mindset to think more on the positive side of things on a regular basis, it's just more so having faith that I know what the situation look like right now, but I'm going to move forward and, and believe that, you know, this is what it is. This is what needs to be, blah, blah, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's, that's more so what the toxic positivity is coin phrase was going for but what justin is talking about is people that's just being fake and just trying to put on and essentially that's how and i ain't trying to get off into religion so don't start but essentially that's how i view some people that go to church and when you say hey how you doing i'm blessed and highly favored all is well oh, oh, oh. Girl. <laughs> like, enough enough because everything ain't sunshine and rainbows all the time and even right. jesus experienced some some trials and tribulations on this earth so let's not do that listen okay? jesus and came into a to... temple turning tables over <laughs> right hello he got upset he had he got high his emotions in my daddy house <laughs> right but people try to act like you know if i act like this all day and put on this fakeness you know it would be mm -hmm. good but like justin said you over there crying in the car like girl relax like it's not, it's not that serious thank you champ <laughs> No, listen, let me help you. Take a chill pill because no, I'm talking about as far as what I'm sorry, like what was just said. Mm -hmm. Um people nowadays are just so I would say indecisive. Can I just use that word indecisive? Sure. And okay. not only not only indecisive, but also very indicated 
about how we look at life because life nowadays, ooh, Jesus, it can go two ways. It can either get right or get left. Yeah. I'm be honest with you, because uh, uh, I preach about this all the time. Um, Come on, preacher. Jesus knew, Jesus knew what he had to do before, before he was before he was about to get put on that cross. Yes, he, knew what he had to do. Yes. And so with that, um, the Bible says that he went out and he taught the people before he sent them. You have to be taught and rudely grounded before you get sent out to do stuff. And this and this and this and like going back to my point, this is going like this is going into the ways of life. You have to be taught rudely and grounded before you are sent. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So, so, so yeah, I just came up here to make that point. I, and I also, I also came up here to sing a new song too, but I guess we'll just wait on that one. But. Sing a new song? Wait, mm-hmm. what? Mm-hmm. what? Sing you, a new you're, song. You're a singer? Hold on. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Y'all yeah, didn't know that? No, this is your first time here, Morgan. <laughs> well, surprise, I can sing too. Okay. All right. Let me see. Wait a, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Portia, the, um, but before you sing, Morgan, give us a second. Portia. Yes. You see one, two, three, four people in the box. How many of these people gifted before you let them up? Oh, heck to the no. I gift all the time. I am the gift, okay? Hold on. You mute yourself because I'm talking to Portia. We know about you. I'm asking her a question because she came up with a rule that she's not abiding. I forget. Man, you got to remind me before. <laughs> did, did, did good fella say, Mr. Sammy, bring me a <laughs> Wait, okay, so Teddy did, Teddy did, I don't know if Justin did or not, but y'all Justin, see us. Justin, we not, Justin gets um, every month. With yeah, uh, Morgan, can you send us a <laughs> rose or something? Sure. Thank Morgan, you, you got to pay to play. You got to I pay to play. No, I got you. No, I got you. It's fine. I got you. I got you. <laughs> All right. um, wonderful. Wonderful. Let me see you. Now, um, <laughs> you have, um, just give us a quick, uh, don't sing the whole selection. Okay, that's fine. But give us a quick little bit of, um, you know, Thank just you. the chorus. Just give us the chorus. And you All better right. not hit us with a shoot. No, no, no. I can't. <laughs> Scott. Blossom, Blossom right. you know, so. listen, apparently, listen, we can be American. He don't want us to be American Idol. He just want to sing the selection. Yeah, Go let's, ahead. Let's God put it on his heart. Yeah. Child. I don't know. Go ahead, um, Morgan. Just give us the chorus now. Okay, so. No here one drop. Uh, uh, <laughs> Set the prisoners free. Yeah. Set the prisoners free. Oh, oh, oh. Here's the verse. I'm saying this. Blinded I see above your head is watching over you. Where there is a man, that's what he do. For the Lord is working in you. Set the prisoners free. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yes. All right, that's all. That's all. All right, thank you so much. We appreciate you. All right. That was Y'all nice. clap it up. Put thank you, Morgan. Um, You're welcome. In the chat. Amen. 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 Okay. What you said? Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Hallelujah. Listen, I can't stand these people. They awesome. <laughs> Morgan, that was very brave of you because you don't even it know was. what you just walked into. Because um, these people are fools. We they do know we and I just want you to know we appreciate you. <laughs> And thank God for your bravery and your confidence and all the things because, child, I could not with these folks. Um, <laughs> That's all right. They going to hell. Don't worry about them. Going to hell. <laughs> Don't worry about them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You keep I'm dying minute. in this car. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at me. This, here go my no, ain't no good. You keep moving forward, Morgan. No earthly good. And don't you let don't these let folks, you know what I'm saying, deter you because they are hell bound. Don't pay attention to them. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to hell in a 
Okay. <laughs> They're operating in the Lord. The Lord use yeah, you. Yeah. with them. Oh, so God you. bless you. Thank you so much you, uh, for giving us that and your words. Uh, he done cammed up and everything. Okay, Morgan. Period. That was a song, Morgan. Let the Period. Lord use you, baby. Yes, yes. I like it. Look at Zodiac. Good yeah. job. Thank you, Zodiac, for being one of the same ones in the chat. Right. Who's I mean, folks? Zodiac, these, what is wrong with our audience here? Oh, wait, I got a song, man. <clears throat> but it's it's just the um no here uh -huh. abort. <laughs> it's the installation, actually. I mean, not the installation. What's it called? It's low key hazing. This is what they do to new people, Morgan. And like I said, this is your first time, so um, they don't know how to act sometimes when new people join yeah. the family. But feel for, don't. don't <laughs> we gotta, we gotta me. get in the hallway. We don't let you yeah, in easy. They just let you they in the hall. If you stick around, then you got the you got the right juice. But these people, yeah, they don't, tough. Yeah. They uh -oh, wait. Wait. Your last name ain't Sangs. You just sang. I get it. I see Period. it. I get it. You get it. You get that. Come on. And also, okay. also, the views of the chat is not the views of Tim and Tessa. I just want to be clear. We can't control them. All right. Look, look, look at Blossom. Look at Blossom. This man came here and told me I was delusional. So clearly we ain't got no control over these these ninjas. Look at Blossom. They roasted me for a month. We showed them. We showed them. Oh, so, and, and Morgan will get his turn to the pool. Not be the last time. Morgan showed up Every and said, put me on the, the chat from now on. We're going to be like, let the prisoners free. <laughs> let the prisoners free. Let the prisoners free. Here Every time go. he comes in, that's how y'all greet Morgan. Free. When you say Good morning, morning, Morgan. Let the prisoners free. free. Morgan, did you write that song, Morgan? You no, I did not. No, I did not. It was arranged by uh, a pastor that I know in Atlanta. Oh, and, okay. and and I just and like and it's dealing with it's dealing with um racism and mm -hmm. everything like that. So he wrote that. His name is William Murphy. And um wait, D. William Murphy? D. William Murphy. He wrote Sir, this. Sir, how you just gonna say his name is William Murphy? Like oh, he right. He's he gonna name drop casually. <laughs> D. Bruh. William Murphy. That's I swear that I know. It's 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 a that's, pastor. That's that I Willie know. Murphy. I know it's <laughs> Willie. <laughs> Me? I'm not the Willie. What is wrong? What's <laughs> wrong with us? Sorry, Morgan. Sorry. I okay, y'all want good. to hear Justin. Morgan. Justin, baby, I need you to drop because my likes then went down. They, they ain't liking up. And then I'm here for it. Like since you've been Morgan, up here. Blossom said, don't block us tomorrow, okay? Don't. Oh, don't right. <laughs> no. no, I'm not going to block nothing. Oh, <laughs> no, no. Morgan, how old are you? I am, I'm 23. Oh, that's, oh, see? Oh, Morgan, oh, you oh, are oh, baby. Oh, is his name. Morgan, you a baby. I know you like. Oh yeah, we Morgan, gonna be you nice. You can come back because I they am a man. People and they still crying in their basement. So you good? Come back <laughs> for real. You good? Child, he blocked us. <laughs> he he blocked probably blocked us. all of us. Oh, he blocked us. He blocked. I'm probably still here for twenty three. Everybody blocked us. us. <laughs> I'm following. I'm I'm following everyone of you guys. Yeah, oh, follow he Morgan. Everybody he follow Morgan. Thanks. <laughs> Child, Morgan, I got a daughter who's 23. Oh, come on, Kia. You better make the love connection. Where you located at, Morgan? I'm located in Columbus, Georgia, not too far from Atlanta. What oh, you do? I sing. I play the drums. I make singing content and things like that. So I'm a music major. Plus, I've been in virtual ministry for going on six years. Oh, no. So you are a minister? I am virtually, yes. I'm in my head all day long. I'm be watching TV and I'm gonna bust out with let the prisoners free. Good. All right. Good fella. Um, good fella. I am in the process of looking for employment, so don't He's know. still young. It's so good. Don't he got for him, good fella. If you He's know somebody that knows somebody, you Come said on. you in Atlanta. No, we in Columbus, not too far from Atlanta, though. You say, okay, what do you do? Hold on, y'all, because I might, I might could get him a job. What you do? I um, well, right now I am working for the city. Right now, I'm working security on weekends, okay, and, and things like that. So that's what I'm doing at least, but it's only on weekends. That's the problem, and I need a little bit more than just weekends. Mm-hmm. 
Do you have any office skills? Office skills, no. And I need training in office skills. Okay. Um, hit me up uh, in, in the inbox. Uh, do we you have an office in Atlanta? We're now fully um, remote. Um, but we might have some facilities where like like the mail room and those kind of things. And you can usually get in from the ground up. So hit me up and I'll, I'll send you um, our website, okay? I sure will. Yeah, come on, look at that. Christmas free. <laughs> hey, Tam, send me the link. I think I need a job. Oh, God. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> Why are you in there now? Why are you in right now? <laughs> what is wrong with you? No, I'm serious. I'm looking. I need a job. I need to go back into the job market. I need yeah, something I, to do. No, you just was on here bragging about how you ain't had to worry about a bill for 55 years. So I, I don't want to hear that shit. Let's okay. bring <laughs> Hey, good fella. You, you know what? I don't have to take this abuse. Kia oh. said she wanted a uh, Yes, you good, good morning. And you will take this abuse, Kia. You do <laughs> and you will. <laughs> Sorry, That's good fella. Good uh, fella got something for Morgan. Oh. Yeah, good Good morning. How's everybody doing? Wonderful. Mm -hmm. How about yourself? Good. No, uh, Morgan, listen. Uh, that was a... Uh, that was a question mark afterward. And the reason why I put it up, number one, number one is because you're 23, which means you're very young, which also means that you're just starting out. And I value a, a young man who is starting out looking for work. So yeah. the reason why I asked, are you working? You have no job is because I was going to tell you, I don't know the type of thing that you're looking for, but nationwide, um, if you have a heart of gold and if, and if, and if, and if you love, if you love dealing and working with people, right, mm -hmm. look into, look into the field of, um, healthcare when it comes to taking care of people. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I am a contractor. I have my own business. I take care of right now. I have 17 clients that I take care of. And it does me very well. It it does me very well. So if if you don't if you don't have a job, look into it. If you don't mind, you know, with the heart that you have, if that's something that you want to do, check it out. Yeah. Oh. Come on with the resources. I love it. I love it. But when he said nationwide. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now I'm crying. I can't stop laughing. No, I'm okay. sorry. It's, okay, it's sorry. Thing. Regroup, everybody. Let's get back to the topic. <laughs> Y'all so disrespectful. Okay, real quick. I just want to say something about the topic. Um, real Please. quick to bring it back around. Block me, drop me. Anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> so slow. Kia. Oh God, my stomach. Hey Jess, how you doing, love? Did you, have, did you have something that you wanted to add uh regarding the topic? The sub the topic. No, she just wanted to come up here. No, wow. actually, no, okay. So I wanted to clarify exactly what the topic was before I because I, I was like I, there are a couple of different ways I could go, but I just wanted to clarify the qu the initial question, the topic. Okay. Okay. Hey, Black Bandit. Good morning. This is your first time here. <laughs> so I really appreciate you guys. This is the After Party Podcast, where your host is Tam and Portia. And around here, our initials are TAP. So we like to say tap that. So tap, tap, tap up this screen. Look, it's 915. We at 17,000 likes. We need 30,000 a day. We appreciate you guys. So tap it up. Tap all over my body to get us to that, um, that goal. Our topic today for Topic Thursday, we're talking about positivity. Basically, the good and the bad side of it or you know the flip sides of it okay so we're talking about uh people being overly positive is how do you feel about that what do you think about that good morning big v i said good morning in the chat hey, oh, baby. Well, I'm what so it do baby charges in my head and not my heart we was up here acting a fool so sorry good morning sorry. 
Um, and the other side of positivity, um, basically talking about um, in relationships, do you find it hard to, or do you like when a person, uh, or do you find it hard to be around people that are more so have a negative mindset or Do you prefer the more positive mindsets? It's just, we're talking about positivity, chat. I don't know. So, so yes. So I, one of the things that I was thinking about earlier is, and it kind of goes back to your, your Life Be Life thing um, podcast from last week was, you know, about, mm-hmm. you know, Corinthians. But the one thing that sticks out is like love hopes, you know, all things. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so when you begin to talk about, you know, and that's kind of my thing. I, I'm like, you know, I, I hope the best in everybody. Mm-hmm. And, but, you know, I try, you know, to po- be positive and encouraging, but I'm, I'm, I'm well churched, right? I grew up in church. I've been in my church. I, ser- you know, in church, served in church ministry, currently deconstructing and doing something, you know, still with God, but I can't do that church and stuff. Yeah. So when the one thing that I value is transparency, you know, you know, I'm a very transparent person. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to say something. I'm, I know Sky going to try to be dropping me. But the thing is, you know, I find that, and this is not about, you know, church per se, that, you know, when people, they super spiritual, they, so, I used to say they so deep, they going to drown. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they have like, no, they so heavenly minded. They're no earthly good. Yeah. Yeah. And you're just, and they're just like, oh well, you know, and, and what, what you say, oh bless, bless the Lord, how are you doing, blah blah blah. And the thing is, that's not true. It is, it's not, it's not true. And I would rather now. I don't want you to be like, oh, woe is me, you know. Right. That. I don't want no eors around me. Yeah, you, you, you're like, how you doing? A, a quick. I'm not doing well. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm in the fight. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a hard day, you know, and that's, you know, that's real, you know, instead of I'm fine, everything is fine. Like, Mm -hmm. you know, everything is burning down behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so I'm not, I don't, I, I, I I do kind of hate toxically positive people because it, it's insincere. It's, Mm. I mean, and the thing is, it's so fake that people can see it. Yeah. But you know, in, in your mind, you're like, oh, well, like I'm just putting out this great energy. And no, it's you just coming off like fake. Yeah. Fake. Quickly. So can I, can I respond? Can I respond to that? Yeah. Yeah. You can. Let me say good morning to these people real quick because that's their first time here. The Messenger, the showcase. Thank you so much for being here today. I see you in here oh, chatting. Thank you. The Diolante. Thank you so much for being here. Um, who else? It was somebody else. I'm so sorry. Let me find them real quick because this chat is moving. Black Bandit. Black Bandit. Black welcome, Bandit. welcome. Yeah, I saw Black Bandit. It was one more person, I thought. Edgar. Edgar Davis. Thank you all. <laughs> we love you guys. Thank y'all for joining us here on today's Topic Thursday. Good fellow, have your way. Okay. To uh, Miss Kia, let me, let me uh, respectfully say this. I'm responding to your comment, not actually uh, to you personally, because I, I think what you said is a great point. Uh, but I think in in society, I think we uh, most people are conditioned and we're conditioned to the point that when we hear overly positive people, it, it seems fake, it becomes fake because that's not that's not what we hear all the time, but we're conditioned for negativity because yeah. that's what we hear yep. all the time. Yep. Now there are some, there are some people who are absolutely positive and who mean it yeah. and they are in good places, mm-hmm. but it right. seems odd because we don't hear that every day. Yeah. That's like yeah. with relation. That's like with relationships, somebody being in a great relationship in a great wedding, I mean, not a great wedding, a great marriage seems foreign. It seems alien. It seems crazy because that's not what people talk about. Mm -hmm. People don't always be in a place where they want to give us the best of it. I always tell people, I wish there were more people 
who didn't mind speaking about where they are. But with this, this society is conditioned. So I, I, I get your point, but if more people actually began to be positive and began to speak honestly, no, they don't have to be overly positive, but you do have those people who are fake. But then again, you have some real people who are positive because that's where they are. Yep. It's just it's, it's just different. I totally agree with that, good fella. Um, totally agree with that. And that's I kind of spoke towards that earlier in the conversation. Um, but it be, it, the world is so oversaturated with negativity and we're conditioned to see that and feel that all the time. So, but there are, and that's where your discernment comes in. Absolutely. You have to know the difference between somebody just faking it or somebody right. that, oh, this is new. This is a breath of fresh air. This is somebody that, you know what I'm saying? If they can show you a positive person um, that is, they not being positive all the time in the sense of, every word out their mouth is a positive thing right but it's a it's the mindset and again when you learn people you learn the type of mindset they're operating in yeah they still gonna have moments of being upset angry whatever 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 but they still can be an overall positive person and be a Correct. light you know what i'm saying but people that just <coughs> out here saying whatever with their mouth like big v said and just whatever sounds good and all that type of stuff you you can see right through the bullshit. like you can see through it and so right. we, we can't assign that to every other positive person just like when a person is negative for a moment you can't assign that oh they're always a negative person with those group people that always are right so i mean i think we just need to focus and hone on like what the heart and what what the mindset is of the person um instead of trying to just put people in a category they don't belong in necessarily if that makes sense right Morgan, did you want to say something? Yeah, yeah. And I was going to say that um, let's not forget, spiritually, God has emotions, too. Hello? He gave them to you. Yep, he did. And so what, what it consists of is that, again, not every day is going to be a happy day. But hear this. Hear this. We have to learn how to use, our, we have to learn how to pray on things. Mm -hmm. and we have to learn how to be in full key effect. Now, now I know, now I know, yes, yes, you know, like not everybody, not everybody's that way. And mm -hmm. that is, and, 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 and that is completely okay. Not everybody's that way. But the thing is that, uh, we go into, um, let me go into the scripture real quick. Uh, in the book of, let me think here. Um, Psalms, Psalms 121 declares, I will lift up mine eyes to the hills from mm -hmm. which cometh my help. Hear that word cometh means that he's coming to help you. Mm -hmm. The help is coming from the Lord. So, 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 so in order for us to be able to be happy and be positive, we have to look to the helper and not the helpless. Yes. Yes. So okay. the topic that they're talking about <laughs> is, no, is, is toxic positivity. So we're talking about people that we know mm -hmm. that are not giving out what they are saying. So we, we, it's yeah. people that we actually can look at them and see that they're being passive aggressive, showing an emotion that they're not really feeling. They're mm -hmm. showing an emotion that they're not really feeling. Uh, overly yeah. positive people. We talking about people that we know, not people that we're guessing about. Yeah. So that's why yeah, yeah. We're, that's why I want to make sure we got the conversation in that line. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, so can I ask, can I, can I, can I ask a question to that? Absolutely. <laughs> that was before you do, good fella, can I just say something really quickly? Um, Portia only got five of her lemon buddies. Are y'all our buddies or not? <laughs> please, please continue to gift <laughs> while you're liking. Please continue to gift um, and do all the things. Okay, go ahead, good fella. Sorry, I just need to. Hey guys, to I have to drop. I have to go into a meeting. Yeah. Love you and have a great day. Love you. Thank you, love Kia. Tomorrow, Friday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, Mr. Okay, Mr. Uh, 
Mr. Teddy, that was that was a great point. Thank you for that because uh, you know, you you brought that right in. So I have a, mm -hmm. I have a question to that point. Now these um, people that we're talking about, um, do you do you have to deal with them, or is it just a point? And, and I'm I'm just asking to, to to anybody to the panel. Do you have to deal with these particular people that you see or that you see that that are being this way? Or is it just a point that you you know that that's how they are? The answer you, can what, I I was gonna say, but go what, ahead. No, wait a minute, because I wanna I wanna make sure we all understand your question. You're saying that these people are our friends, and you're at, is the question you're asking? Do you have to deal with them? Well, no. The way that Teddy the way that Teddy made the point of what the topic was, mm -hmm. uh, which which I didn't get, so I'm I'm glad he clarified that. Um, okay. The people, the way that they act. So, so the, even even your question that that makes it even mo more different. So the people that we're talking about are people that are close to us that we deal with. It is that is is am I understanding that correctly? I don't think I understand. No, your it's question. it's um no. He's saying is are we speaking only on people we deal with as in personal relationships with us or just overall everybody we encounter. And you're choosing oh, I'm who about you. That I know. Yeah, we were talking. Um, it was more so talking about how you, who you like to deal with in your surroundings, not just random folks. Um, but if you did come across somebody new, i.e., us all meeting each other on TT, like you could tell who, oh, I probably wouldn't be friends with them outside of this, or oh, they have this type of mindset that ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, but you sure. know what you like to deal with. Some people don't mind being surrounded by people that look at the glasses half empty all the time. They be like, okay, it's cool, like whatever. Some other people are um, don't. I can't stand it. I, I can't deal or dwell around people that are always negative. Like that's a problem for me, you know, person. So this is more so your personal stance of what you can handle around you. Y'all is going off messenger. The messenger, the showcase. You got to go all. We appreciate okay. you. Well, one of the, one of the things that I have. Well, fed, Thank you, Tia. One, one of the things that I have uh, pretty much applied to my life, mm -hmm. um, and it wasn't always like this, but when I really learned how important peace is, um, I, I began to I began to apply uh, the Serenity's prayer to my life every day, not just as a prayer. But I say it because God gave me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. If these people that are in our lives, whatnot, if they're going on in their day to day things with particular things that I can't change or whatnot, I don't worry about that. I have a piece yeah. about what I can do. And if there's something that I can change about it, God give me the strength to do it because either I'm going to be effective in something or I'm not going to waste my time. So with that, the best thing about it is God give me the wisdom to know the difference. That Knowing the difference really, really, really makes it worth it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good morning, Michael Palmer. Thank you so much. We I miss you too. <laughs> and, to piggyback, and, and to piggyback on what you just said, brother, um, you know, when you ask, um, do we have to do we have to deal with people who, who we know? The answer to that is a spiritual answer. I would say let God deal with them because, because and the reason why the reason why I say let God deal with them is because of the fact that he can he can he can he can he can deal he can deal with people better than we can. Yes, yes, he can, and That's he will. I agree with that. Uh, you know, you, you know, much the messenger for helping us to reach yes. our thank you um, our gift and goal today um and everyone else who has gifted even if it wasn't yes. the lemon buddy every yes. gift thank you like um, that you all have given is highly appreciated yes. um so we, we want to say but do not let the gift stop let them keep flowing <laughs> go off okay go off um but um i think you know we were not um I, i'm glad that you guys um brought up um a spiritual and religious aspect to this but you know we was we started off surely just speaking about um our human nature on this thing right 
um, and what is our um, experience and how we like to experience this particular subject. So I'm glad that y'all, you know, brought the Lord into it because we probably need a little Jesus. I, I mean, he is a part of it all. At all, but You know how I feel about that. God is with me in all that I do. So I, I totally agree with that um, standpoint. Good fella of praying that prayer every morning because he definitely... And um, Morgan, he definitely will help you process the things that you don't even have the the capacity to process on your own. Um, and so that's definitely important. But that's what I'm saying. Like even having that type of mindset, that's a positive mindset, right? Um, of you wanting to acknowledge that I can't do this by myself. I need this additional help, this source to help me go forward so that I can give people grace, so that I can not take things personally, so I can move in such a way that my day will be better than what it used to be. Thank you so <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> that little llama, that was cute. Lucy the llama, I ain't seen her before. Um, thank y'all so much. <laughs> Oh, uh, I know this is out subject. I just come up here for a minute because I'm about to get in my car, my BMW. I'm sorry, but um, <laughs> to the people in the comments, I'm I'm so sorry. Like every time I walk through, Ethan be hating on me. But um, Ooh. anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a witness. The reason why I came up here because I own my own business, but my store is in my city, and uh, nobody don't judge me. But I own my own sex store. And I'm looking for somebody to do me a website. So it's 23 people in here, so I jumped up in the box. If anybody know how to do a website that they can create me so that I can start selling for people all over the world, I will appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Bye. Yeah, editor. Yeah, um, can you yeah. inbox after part? She dropped too fast. She um, still here, though. The messenger, can you inbox the after party? Um, I'm going to link you up with, with our editor. Um, yeah. She does media content, and she may be able to help you or direct you um, to someone that can help you um, build a website for your business. And once you have built that website, we would love for you to create um, a PG version of your business and we can <laughs> and we can spotlight your business on one of our um podcasts okay no. so absolutely that was, so um, and the job has responded so to the messenger down there i don't know he uh, said ooh me so maybe check him out sorry no. i don't know if he meant ooh me for the sex store or the right the we don't website. know i don't know y'all figure that out y'all figure that out y'all y'all that's y'all business how do you make that how do, how do you make that pg you don't. Oh, it's some way. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. You can. Sex is sex is sex. Sex is a natural human thing. You just don't have to make it super raunchy. Raunchy. Yeah, you can go in your kitchen and get some stuff that you can use. Thing. And also, make, a PG. We, what, make what PG? The website? Who said make a PG? No, not the website. I said an advertisement that we can oh. actually spotlight on our podcast is what I was asking her to make PG. I don't care what she does with her website because that's her business. Really? But I'm saying in order for us to spotlight it, I don't want it to be so raunchy that that it can't even be in the after party because we be saying all the things up there. But still, you know, I don't I don't want it to be more than we can even have. <laughs> uh, two things. One, uh, I am in the process of writing. Well, I've written songs. I've written about four or five of them and i need help um getting them recorded and two i'm also in the process of trying to write a book so hold on for a second let me address this comment blossom blossom, blossom. yes we're i like that i, I like that comment you, i told you <laughs> that we are here to connect like-minded people yeah. so if if you need your business spotlighted we gonna spotlight your business and so that's one of the segments also in our oh, podcast yeah. the business spotlight and so we are looking for um more businesses in order to to spotlight so it blossom you are a subscriber and you want to our boo things but it lets me know you you have not watched our podcast so shame 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 
Um, okay, so if anybody can help Morgan again, um, that would be great. Morgan has wrote some songs and he's in the process of writing books. So if we know any editors that um, do book do books and all that type of stuff, um, please reach out to Morgan. Everybody follow each other, okay? We ain't here to connect. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about. Help each other out as we can. We appreciate y'all so much uh, for being in a great addition to today. Oh, she said, oop, a whooping. I can't. Jazz is out. So now that we finished um doing all the business spotlights, we 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 are um we are done with that part, that segment of today. Now we need to get back on topic. So I but I thank all of you all for for letting us know that you do have businesses and what you're all about. If you're not following us at um the after party pod and also tam tam's party please do so because i've noticed that a lot of you all are following the after party but not tam tam's party and not life be life man you should be following all three of our pages the after party is our business page but tam tam's party is my personal page life be life is portia's personal page you should be f they have corrupted you girl she's talking Ooh. about blossom mommy was talking about blossom and she's like you came in so sweet and blossom, <laughs> child, blossom knew. Nancy, like I'm one, I'm part of the crew. I'm part What's of the up? crew. Blossom came in. I said that the other day. Blossom came in so sweet and innocent, and instantly was corrupted by us. But was she really corrupted? I think that was just her all alone. But she was it just was trying to test the waters life. and see, like really. But like-minded people come here. I'm telling y'all, y'all love it here because y'all are just like us. So it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> we have the good side, and we have the not so uh the naughty side so whatever i mean it is what it is we love it. this is the show and that and that is not the part <laughs> period so uh, speaking again real quick um we did drop episode number eight of our podcast yesterday on yt um so please go check it out if you want to see a little more of us we have eight episodes of the after party podcast yesterday we were talking about chemistry 101 okay so go ahead and check it out um have your way and yeah thank y'all again for being here thank y'all we had twenty two thousand. we got um a few more minutes i'm gonna need y'all to help us get to this 30k appreciate you so if you're on the panel and and, and you and you want to help with the like go um go ahead and drop and continue to like if you have made all your points if you have not please stay we're not rushing y'all yeah. to leave yeah we're saying if you're done talking you've made all your points and now you want to help us like it up because you know you can't like while you're on the panel then go ahead and drop and start liking but if you still have more to add just stay we want you to stay so anyway. yes our, and Back also just a reminder our boxes are only open on tuesdays and thursdays and the subscribers the boxes are always open because they get to have their way with us so there's that they can, Anywho, way. They can get in our <laughs> do you all take suggestions for the podcast yes Absolutely. Oh, so good yes, fella you're not a part of the discord you haven't entered over there okay why not do you i didn't know about it Oh shoot! Yeah, that's one of the perks. We have a Discord. Aren't you a subscriber? Thank you, Juma. Thank you, yeah, Elroy. Yeah, subscriber. Okay, so when you when you subscribe, because I just I just re upped my subscription to the after party. It's a little box at the top that says join and Discord. You too, Tiara. You Thank you so much for being here. And um. Thank you, Elroy. You you do that, and then you can go over to our Discord. Also, Portia will send out the link. link as well. But you go over there to Discord. That's where we be really cutting up. It's just for the subscribers only. So if you are subscribing here on the After Party Pod page, then you can have extra access to us over there in Discord. We have a fantasy football league going on right now um we're going to have a sub only um live the very next time we record which is um next, next Tuesday. Tuesday. um that you guys can um be in the background give us suggestions um give us feedback um we do take all of that and um over there in discord we portia just sent out a message um yesterday asking for um feedback yeah. suggestions um Ideas. comments about what we have going on so we definitely okay, do 
back. I got so. some topics for you. Okay, we appreciate put, put it. it in the, um, put it in the DMs or put it in Discord. Yeah, put it in um, Discord. But if you put it in Discord, make sure that you put it under feedback. It's a it's a it's a, it's a um, tab. topic tab that you can click on and put your feedback and comments and topic suggestions over there. I'll send gotcha. you the link as soon as we done. Hey Dave, how you doing, love? Thank y'all again so much for being here. We appreciate y'all. We had twenty three thousand y'all. We can make it. We can make it. We got nineteen minutes left. I have some topics too. Okay, but please y'all go over there. Give us y'all feedback. Tell us what. You know, we want to keep improving this show. We've been doing this since January. We're about to come up on a whole nother January. We're going to have our um, birthday, one year my anniversary. Birthday month. You said uh, one year month. anniversary is coming up. My birthday month, January. Period. Okay, you well, if you stick around, if you stick around and you become a subscriber, we'll have a whole birthday party for you here. Period. We love, um, we love our family. So, so, where, so where are you all going? Where are you all going to go live for your uh, year anniversary? Here. <laughs> you mean like in no. person? We I'm, probably mm -hmm. we probably won't be in person because um we we got some things some other things going on um me and Tam personally um and so we probably won't be in person for that one year anniversary in January. But we will be on here and maybe we can do like a Zoom thing, you know, that day two or that week too. So it could be more, you know, because TT a little restrictive. So we can go on Zoom and have a good time with y'all or whatever. You know, we'll think about it. We're we going to do, we already got some things in the works. We are not sisters. <laughs> We're sisters oh. in Christ. <laughs> um, but also, um, remember that Portia will be here with me next week so um she'll be in the white chairs from me. today i will be <laughs> in maryland period be so be we'll maryland. be live for those and two. we'll be live together so we are really looking forward to that visit this will yeah. be our first time meeting in, in person in person <gasps> i'm looking forward to y'all coming to florida well tam coming there in november I told you i'm coming in november mm-hmm oh. Everybody I'll going everywhere in November. The 9th through the 13th, I will be in Florida. Florida. Yeah. So this is this is this is really good. So yeah, we definitely need more topics and things or whatever. Like y'all know, we be on here being silly, having fun, but also we can be very serious and have conversations that push our culture forward, push, you know, for us to learn, to grow, and all the things. We are truly a family here. So yes, come back. If this is your first time, you guys will love it here. We clown, we act like yes, <laughs> what are you saying? I'm gonna I want to nice. come to y'all tomorrow. He's gonna tell me be nice. Boy. So she's she's coming in town for the um the Redskins Bears game um next I'm Thursday Chicago night. All day. Um, Commodore. So I'm probably going to go live for a short It's the commanders, <laughs> not Redskins. She go call you, it. Will, you will be dropped and blocked for that. But anyway, um, so it will hope, <laughs> can are, I can I respond um, to that? You can it will no, always. No, no, let me just finish, and then y'all can respond. Um, uh, I will probably go live for a little while during our tailgate, just tailgate. so y'all can see what it is. And Portia's gonna be in the building, so I, I, I'll probably go live just for a few minutes, just so y'all can see, um the 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 tailgate and what it is that my tailgate crew does um when we get together it's a party it's a party it's a party go ahead big fella what you gotta good fella what you gotta say it Careful will now. always it will always be the redskins i don't care what a commander says i've been a redskins fan all my life and i don't care who bought what what you try to change what you try to make different and, and it will always be the reds i was joking i was oh. joking on that part uh, yeah no, i can't. know i know yeah. you know but we just letting you know that like we we i i have been a skins fan since i was eight years old um my mama was a skins fan um mm -hmm. all my family except for my one crazy my two crazy cousins one of them is a um 49er fan and his brother is a uh Packers fans, so they'd be fighting all the time. Listen, it's great. But anyway, the rest of us is Skins fans, so um, so yeah, they'll always be the Redskins forever, forever. Now, I'm not saying 
I really, I told y'all before, I love the marketing surrounding the commander's name. I thought it was genius. Um, I was like, well, I want to be commanding shit. Like, I like it. But they still are risking. I'm, I'm, I can't help it. I'm a 49ers fan and a Golden State Warriors fan, so. Period. Let's go GSW. Well, everybody's not perfect. Right. Oh, shoot. I'm a Bears fan, and I don't want to hear it. I know they've been losing, but I'm Chicago <laughs> until I die. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. It's my home state. Period. I, I don't know. We can race circle back, um, Sky. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. We Okay, we need to get back on top topic. Okay, because for real, for real. Okay, we've had a great time. Good morning, Bernard. Thank you so much. Look at Mommy. Go to state all day. Yes, sir. Gee, it's tough. <laughs> We um, can't really control all the time. We we be trying to keep y'all on topic, but also we want y'all to feel um free to have discussions. So we don't want to put y'all in such a chokehold that um you know we can't veer off topic a little bit. But do know that at some point we're gonna have to bring y'all back in. So um, okay. um Big Gene, look at what Big V said real quick, Tam. He said he knew something was wrong with the wrong hell with the commanders, Dallas Cowboys for life. Big V, this is why she told you so long ago that y'all could not work because you like the Dallas Cowboys. When, when he was like, he wants, I, I want to be loved by you. I was like, no, no, no. Mm -mm. Uh, <laughs> I'm mad at you through tomatoes at you. <laughs> tomato, tomato, tomato. Okay, so yeah. Um, so the consensus is Portia don't need your input on this, okay? <laughs> Oh what up, Big V? Bear down, niggas. Anyway, uh, <laughs> what did Blossom say? Hold on, Blossom doesn't say. Blossom, Blossom obviously been crown. cutting up. Let me see. Either way, it's not the Ravens. I'm just saying. Okay. No, she didn't say that. She said this has been Shark Tank in American Idol. <sighs> anyway. Okay. Sorry. Anywho, um, so yeah, positivity. <laughs> It went left. I'm gonna need y'all to put y'all positive hats on today, cause clearly y'all not the positive friends that's gonna be toxic positivity, cause y'all asses is <laughs> never. <laughs> 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 it's been trying to keep a straight face because our faces can be seen. Y'all faces in the chat can't be seen. Our faces can be seen. Y'all, we got us laughing stuff. at people, and it, well, it seemed like we laughing at people, but we really for real laughing at y'all. We but laughing at y'all. The people so feel please. like we laughing at them. It's just too Cut much. Out. Look at Scott. <laughs> Unfriend me now. <laughs> they are a mess. They are a mess. <laughs> Anywho, these people um, are these this comments. platform is generally very positive. <laughs> But we, we are also positive. we control. are positive. We have a really good positive mindset around here. Um, but we also are foolish, so there's that. But um they be clowning when it's supposed to be serious, they be telling jokes. It's like they be all over the place. Y'all just gotta you gotta have thick skin up in here though. You do, you do. But that's life. That's life. Yeah. Like everything ain't gonna be so um going your way all the time. And sometimes you're gonna get knocked around smack down different things like that but you got to keep moving and rolling with the punches and also <laughs> if it ain't for you move around like dj 899 found out it wasn't for no. him so he had to move around no. <laughs> so he blocked us. no let's talk about that real quick um blossom do not ever feel like you have to apologize um positive negative and different jokes clowning we don't care you. we want you to come in here and be your absolute self so do do what you do ho. but anyway uh let's talk about that's a whole nother thing people be Charles coming in and trolling us all the time. look at morgan face it's a backstory morgan we don't call each other whores and stuff like that <laughs> somebody no. came in our chat one day we were just talking having a good conversation and this random person came in our chat was like what up ho and I was like, hold on, the darn dang devil. Hold on. Yes. Here I go. I'm. I usually like. I'm gonna say now. it's fine. I was like, what the devil? Who, who you calling a hoe? You a hoe, then Tammy. You a hoe? Y'all been playing with that thing? Like, it just went up. So it's just been a running joke since then, y'all. I just uh, right, no, we don't talk to each other like that. We don't talk to each other like that at all. Nobody I, can call us a whore, okay? I just be looking but, at folks like they crazy. They call me that. 
Yeah, uh, it's funny. Yeah. So, it, was, it just took us off. It was funny, but don't put your hands on me. 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 Exactly. Thank well, y'all talking Black about Black. DJ Envy or whatever his <laughs> name was. Uh, he came in this joint and he was all flexing. I'm a real nigga. I'm a G. I got this. I got that. I got four bedrooms. Which one you want? And he was doing all of this. And then he got but her the very next day and blocked us. Like that's a real nigga. You because the chat went you in on nigga. him. The chat <laughs> went in on that man. And I I told them about themselves in Discord. That's did I? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, no, I you got, didn't. I got, I got no, you words. did. <laughs> I got some words to say about that. Fake thug. No, wait a minute. Hold on, exactly. hold on. One Fake second. thug. Give me period. One second, uh, Morgan. Can you um can you mute yourself for one second? Cause Teddy was getting ready that to part, say. Uh, Teddy, Teddy was getting ready. Simple. Teddy, was you getting ready to say something about the DJ Envy situation? Don't call him DJ Envy. No, his name was DJ Eight Nine Nine. Go look at his account. Go on. He blocked us. We can't see it. No, we more. can't see him. His name DJ Basement. Oh. <laughs> Teddy, what was you about to say? <laughs> <laughs> People are crazy. We just gotta, you know, move around, and they move around. Uh, blocking you, let me. <laughs> blocking you, let <blessed> me. <laughs> it's a mess. A mess. <laughs> oh my god! Empty basement, Theo. Theo, he had, he was like, I got all this, and I got four luxury cars, and which one you want? And then he started crying like a girl. Wait, crying. then he was like, he ain't got no kids. And then he he put, he turned his camera on, was showing us his basement. And then he was like, in this room, I'm going, and when he went in that room, we saw kids' toys. Nigga, did I just say you ain't had no <laughs> kids? Tank. Oh my and God. he had five or six empty fish tanks. It's about some yeah. Come and up, this it's gonna be put. these kind of fish. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> I didn't need any of it. It was just way the too chat way way went too up much. on that man. DJ, DJ is so cool. Yes, come on, black man. <laughs> and oh, one God. of our one of our family tried to help him. Theo was like, it sounds like you've been hurt before, and then <laughs> you can't be bitter. You know, you can't. He was like, I've never been, been hurt. hurt. I've never been hurt. And then Kelly was like, you know what? <laughs> We're done. <laughs> I was like, well, that fucking go in on his ass. He said he ain't never been hurt. He ain't never been, and they well, he got in hurt. On him. He got hurt the other day. The nigga yeah, never been yeah. hurt before. He got hurt the other day. His ass is butt hurt. Because <laughs> after they went in on him on that live, that man, he was in our inbox. Okay. And uh, hey, hey, beautiful, all this type of stuff. We didn't respond to him, uh -huh. but after they went in on that man, he blocked us because his his <laughs> thing is grayed out. You cannot <laughs> find user. I was like, they block us. And the, <laughs> fact, and, and the <laughs> fact is, and the fact is, he cried. So DJ Cry Baby just turned into <laughs> DJ Look Here. Right. DJ right. Look Here. Oh, he so gonna cry. He, he gonna cry when he go home. But no, DJ said, he gets somewhere. Lie. Hey, the mothers used to say in the old church, DJ gets somewhere and sat down. You ain't got Hello? nothing. Here, sat down. You blocked him on Monday, Blossom? Listen, let me tell you DJ something. He Blocka. was a whole plan for how he behaved. He was like, <laughs> well, my rule is I'll take you on three dates. I'll pay for three dates. You pay for one. I was like, and, and he was coming on very strong to me. And I was like, well, we can't go out because I'm not that type of lady. You, are you literally counting the dates? Well, okay, this is date four. It's your turn to pay. What the mm -hmm. hell? I was like, sir, move along. And, you know and, then, I, and then I got blocked. But anyway, who in cares? The spirit, I, can say, I can say this in the spirit because I'm a preacher. In the spirit, he a slew foot bastard. Oh. Yeah. I can say that. More people. Yeah. I can say that in the spirit. In the spirit. Okay, I'm here. Oh, okay, I'm in here. No, not Wait DJ. Well, I don't think Cam belongs in this with the pastor, but um, hey. Pastor, you're uh, going to have to be baptized make, today. Cam, I'm sorry. Pastor. Listen. Look at Cam's hey, name. Hey, 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 make that flashback. Hey, Pam. Hey, Pooh, hey. 
<laughs> we got look, look. Pass the close your eyes. Pass the close. We gonna have a no whole one. award show for all of our people, oh and God. one of them, one of the categories gonna have to be the best name. And I'm voting for Cam already. I just hands want to down, Cam wins hands that. Down, Cam. Period. Period. Well, Most definitely. Since you tease that, we might as well tell them the plan. Well, you think so? I mean, you just said it. I so just teased well... it. It was a tease. Okay. <laughs> you still got that dog picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the dog on the dude dude came, about came him. aggressive. Like he just came. I got it all. You're like, man, really? He did, Justin. It was too much. But yet you <laughs> count in, and yet you count in dates. Ooh. He changed his name again. He said, "Be right back." And he changed his name again. Okay, I'm gonna read it when it come up again because I missed it. He, yeah, say something, Cam, because I missed spit in that ass and lick it. Lord, the devil. Hold on, wait. What the yes. devil? Uh, 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 uh. He said, "This is backup page." Who, who tell who who tells you be spitting in? Because this is no, not Morgan. Morgan, this is not for you. Morgan, pastor. abort. Morgan, I don't stay abort. Stay out of this. <laughs> oh my god. Stay out of this, Morgan. Stay out of this. I got, I got one more. I got one more. Got one more. Okay, come on, give it to us. Give it to us now. Give it to us. Give it to us. Oh, that is not right. But no. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my eyes shut. Come glaze my face. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm trying. He got one more backup page. He got one more backup. Come glaze my face. Squirt. Look at Scott. Look at Scott. I can't. I can't with Cam. Cam wins automatically. Wins hands down, hands down. Let me write down that that that. It's the creativity. I'm sorry. Can, be can it be? Really can it be what your? Can it be what your mama gave you? Jesus Christ. Uh uh. I like. I like. I like it. Be direct and okay. say what it is. Tell me what you're gonna I do. Like I'm gonna stop. Sorry. Okay. okay. All right. Hey. Um, we got hey. them on did that per usual good, good, we good, love y'all we appreciate y'all <laughs> the lord is my shepherd he know what i want today we That's appreciate right, y'all teddy what you say oh big v goodbye everybody the lord is my shepherd he know what i want That's Hello? Right. Ah! Uh, of course he yeah. know what you want he know what you got too hello <laughs> He knew what you was this <laughs> look at this guy nasty, nasty. i like that nasty <laughs> shit <laughs> I like that. Close your ears. Pass the damn. <laughs> I'm going. Hey. So hey. I'm used to it. Exactly. Yeah, because young. you said your whole niece got a sex store. I'm used to everything, you, including the blue collar. Niece, right? That's she got a sex yep. store. Thank y'all. Yeah, Thank y'all. Listen, listen, hey, listen. I'm used to all of this. Trust me. I, I this ain't the first time I heard it. Exactly. Okay. Well, good. Um, and he's a young all man. right, so before we leave, mm -hmm. we're going to do one more commercial break. Um, and if you guys are not subscribed over there on YT, please check the link in the bio, the yeah, After Party page bio. Go over there oh, and so subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you know when we post new content. Um, <laughs> support us over there as much as you support us over Good here. Morning, because Kinsey. all the support that we have here, we should have a lot more subscribers at, over there. Oh, my goodness. Her, Look at her, this her, her, they changed again. Look at this face. <laughs> right. Look at the face. Ain't that the man that would be selling the holy water? Big B, we, we love you. Yes, uh, that's even, him. even you, Tammy. Oh. He just won. He just wants to be Big V is still connection. salty because we didn't make a love connection. Don't be salty, Big V. Ooh. He about to cuss me out. Anyway, oh, uh <laughs> wait a minute. You didn't start it, so oh, Jesus. You He's really did <laughs> Y'all know we about to y'all know that our time is coming and we're about to um end. So um <laughs> I just want to personally thank y'all for joining us today. I know yeah. that the last 30 minutes we was not on topic, but what we did discuss in the first hour and a half, I got a lot out of. Yeah. Um as yeah. always, we appreciate all of your thoughts and opinions. Um, it does help us to be better. Yeah. We hope that we are giving you all yeah. something to be better about remember that tomorrow is friday faves 
um yes, where i don't yes. know what the subject is going to be yet but join us <laughs> we will be having our friday faves and we will be you're in the fine, chat you're fella. i'll be back um, i'll be up here tomorrow too <laughs> yeah, it, um so we can't wait to see you guys back here tomorrow remember that the boxes will not be open tomorrow except to our subs who get to take over and do whatever they want to do but um if you would like to sub um there's still time do it now do it now before portia okay, closes out. <laughs> thank y'all so much we love y'all it was an amazing show today we had some really good conversations we made it to that 30k we got our like and go y'all show out today period um i appreciate y'all please like blossom said pastor don't don't block us and drop us okay come back um and we are definitely gonna have a good time i can't wait we are t-minus one week from today that i will be in maryland in living color with tam and period color. um we're gonna have a great time and i hope to see you guys there please subscribers go over to discord if you have not if you haven't um got into the discord send us a dm on the after party and i will send you the link and so come over there, give us your ideas, your um, topic, your feedback, whatever, whatever, because y'all are definitely in the inner circle. Y'all are TAP fam, and we appreciate y'all. To all the rest of you party goers, thank you again for being here. Tam. Remember, the world has never met another you. Go out and be great in it. We love you guys. We thank you for joining us, give, giving us 30,000 likes and helping us reach our gift and goal. We love you so much. Have an amazing day today. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern, where it will be our Friday faves. Have a great day today. Bye. See y'all. Bye. Look at Jazz. No, we got to go, Jazz. <laughs> <laughs>